om helsättningar och ledsättningar. About main clauses and subordinate clauses. It sounds pretty fancy, but it's actually not so difficult. So I will just show you what it all means. Hälsättning. Hälsättning is a main clause. It's a sentence that can exist on its own. It's a finished sentence. Hälsättning kan stå alene. Den är självständig. So this main clause, it can be on its own. It's independent. Like this. Olga lager middag. Subject, verb. And sometimes object as well. Jan-Erik ser på film. So, Jan-Erik is watching a movie. Again, subject, verb. So, these two sentences are independent sentences and they are main clauses. Hele setninger. If I want to connect them, if I want to connect them in one sentence, I have to use a conjunction. So, conjunction is a word that connects two equally important elements together. Hele setninger knyttes sammen av konjunktioner. So, this main clauses, they can be connected by conjunctions. For example, like this. Olga lager middag, og Jan-Erik ser på film. So, Olga is making dinner, and Jan-Erik is watching a movie. So, this O is probably one of the most uh, used conjunctions. Another conjunction is men. Rita vil reise til New York, men hun har ikke råd. Rita wants to travel to New York, but she cannot afford it. So you see, the first part of this sentence uh, is a main clause. Rita will reise. Subject and a verb or verbal construction. And then after men, we have another equally important sentence. Hun har ikke råd. So she cannot afford it. Again, subject and a verb. And some more conjunctions, just so you know them. Og, men, eller, and for. For in the meaning of because. Some sentences, they cannot be on their own. They exist to give extra information to another sentence. So those sentences are dependent. They're dependent clauses, subordinate clauses. They're called ledsetning in Norwegian. So ledsetning kan ikke stå alene. So this subordinate clause, it cannot be on its own. It just doesn't make any sense on its own. Den er ikke selvstendig. It's not independent. Like here. Hun sa at hun skulle komme. She said that she would come. So this at hun skulle komme, it doesn't make sense on its own. But as a part of the whole sentence, it makes perfect sense. She said that she would come. So hun sa, subject and verb, in the main clause, at hun skulle komme. So again, we have a subject and a verbal construction in the subordinate clause, and they are connected by subjunction at. Jeg vet ikke om de kommer. I don't know if they are coming or not. So this om de kommer, again, doesn't make much sense on its own, but it makes perfect sense as a part of the whole construction. Jeg vet ikke om de kommer. We can also start a sentence by a subordinate clause. Selv om han var syk, ville han gå på kino. Even though he was sick, he wanted to go to the movies. Again, this, selv om han var syk, on its own, it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't give you uh, much information. But together, all together, it makes perfect sense. And here, pay attention. If you start the sentence with a subordinate clause, you will have inversion in the main clause. Ville han gå på kino? Selv om han var syk, Ville han gå på kino? Another example. Hvis du ikke kan komme, må du gi besked. Again, if you cannot come, you have to let me know. So, after subordinate clause, we have inversion in the main clause. Må du gi besked? And just for your information, you don't have to memorize all of those subjunctions right now. So, here are some of the most used subjunctions. And we are going to speak much more about main clauses and subordinate clauses in level A2 and B1. We will have to discuss particular word orders in both types of the sentences. For now, I just want you to be able to distinguish between a main clause and a subordinate clause. And yeah, it would be nice if you could see the difference between a subjunction and a conjunction.